Two by eight by twelve. I'm gonna have twelve of them. Sixteen sixteen inch on center where those blue marks are. Uh, gotta figure out though. Before we lay any rafters, we're gonna put these two 16 foot two by eights up here on top of this wall. And I have enough slope for the rain to run off. This is the height of the door. So I'm probably gonna go an inch or two above that maybe an inch and a half so I can get a two by four in here laying flat and then set the wall headers on top I'm not going to worry about that until I get this ready to put the hangers on so today, the main focus was getting that board up. And I got three, or I got four, four of these in there with nuts and watchers. 
end of that concrete. And then I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve tap cons in there. That definitely should hold all the weight of the rafters and the roof decking and everything. So with this one board I pulled out, I'm gonna sort of temporarily rig it so I can get my angle. This door height I'm gonna have two doors, one of them here and so that's 80 inches. 80 inches rough opening. I'm probably gonna move that door once we get this closed in and screened in. We'll move that door over here. And then we'll buy a new aluminum screened in door. Well, this is the one we use the most, I think. I put one over here because two reasons. One reason, I need to be able to get to my trash. I got recycling and regular trash that I keep behind these little gates here. And I want to be able to come out from the house and throw my trash away without having to go out the front and the other reason is you can obviously see I have a solar on my roof um, I got 20 24 solar panels up there on the roof I need to take and get up there after I get this roof done and clean them off because all the oak trees are dropping pollen now and that pollen is covering my panels up pretty good. But the city of Lakeland needs to be able to get to that meter that's on the back porch there. Because I don't own that meter. I just own all the stuff that's the meter's plugged into. So those of you that don't know about solar, this is pretty cool because um, I'm grid tied, which means obviously I'm hooked to the power grid. And right now what I'm generating, because I'm not using much power in the house or anything, just other than my sawing out here and maybe a, some clocks and lights on, 90% of the power I'm generating right now is going back into the grid and I'm getting credit for it on my electric bill so I don't have a a high electric bill. I pay for water and garbage and a connection fee and whatever electricity I use that I don't generate. So my electric bill is really cheap, like 30, 40 bucks a month. So I don't own that meter and that meter is net net metering the output of the solar panels and totaling up my daily usage and then the other meter is a net meter also but it goes in two different directions and it has uh, four different readings one is peak peak power usage what I'm putting in the grid, what I'm using from the grid, and and uh, one other reading, I can't remember what it is, but uh, on a daily basis, for the most part, you can see right now that dotted line or dashed line on the bottom is going to the left instead of the right and that means I'm putting power back in the grid and the arrow up there shows that I'm putting power back in the grid right now when it switches it goes the other way and I'm using more than I'm making 
with you know in the evening because I don't use batteries. Batteries are great if you're out in the middle of the woods and it doesn't be cost effective to get hooked to the grid, but uh, batteries are also very expensive and high maintenance and um, it's another big cost, almost as much as the solar system costs just for the sake of having your own power at night. I generate more than I'm using at night during the day, so what do I need batteries for? So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I gotta have this door here in case the city needs to get to that meter and uh, I get conven convenience to get out here and dump my trash in the trash cans. So, this thing is going to be 12 foot, actually 12 foot, a little over three quarters. So I'm probably going to be cutting that off a little bit, but for now it's just going to be a placeholder so I can get my pitch. And then once I understand what that pitch is going to be, I'll be able to top these posts and cut them off at the right height. These these three here will be at different heights depending on that pitch. And then all these here will be at the same height representing the end of the wall with them two long 16-footers sitting on top of it. So I'm pretty sure that 80 inches... Yep, is that mark right there plus a half an inch for slop. So that is the top of the door. And I need to be at least an inch and a half above that for the door plate header. Boy, this sun is really bright here, isn't it? So somewhere around there will be the bottom of that rafter. So let's just call it 82 so we can be consistent through here. And that should be plenty of ceiling height for the bottom of the rafter. 82 right there. I'm 5'9", so even a seven foot person Yeah, seven feet's way up there above. That's 84. That should be plenty for a slope. Or the rain to run off. So, <coughs> I'm just gonna screw to the side of that four by four for now. And I know that four by four, if we look at this wall here, that 4x4 four four is set back at least an inch and a half, two inches from the outside of this wall. So I'm going to scab on another 2x4 on the face of that for the finish work and the door frame opening and all that. But for now, this is just a temporary try to see what my slope's going to end up being. Get a better idea what it's going to look like, too. We'll uh, just screw this on temporarily. I need to set up a ladder down there. And I 
probably ought to move this workbench out of the way. A little hairy cousin it running around is Mufasa. Named after Lion King Disney. That darn fire pit. <clears throat> Get away from that corner. I'm going to pre-drill this board before I screw just because I'm going to be screwing near the end of the wood and I don't want to split it. Yeah, I'm almost going to have to put a ladder here in the middle. That's my workbench for now. We'll put this short ladder here in the middle so we can lift that board up. this out of the sun it's my GoPro monitor I'm using the cell phone with the GoPro app to uh, see what I'm filming and if my uh, camera's not in the right place I can see real easy that it's needs to be adjusted okay so I know I screw to that and I'm going to be really close to the end. I just want to simulate that end sitting in a hanger. <laughs>
and I don't want to screw to here because that's going to be a little low for you can see I want the top of this board flush with that but I don't want to be at the same pitch as because that will make it too low out there so I might just notch this that's at least half an inch if not five eighths but how much is it when you push that up all the way so this is the puzzle that I have got myself into. That screw is hanging up on stuff. I make a little progress every day. I don't know what I did with my pencil. Something like that. <sighs> Giving me that half inch. I ought to be close. Just for a placeholder for now. <coughs> <coughs> I can do a lot of layout. Once I get this board in the right spot, I can do all the layout for everything else. Try that again, then we're gonna take a break after we get that screwed up.
In that notch first. Yeah, that's close. A little spicer under that. Raise that up, see what happens. Screw is still up here. Yep. So, it's got to get cut out more. <coughs> Almost straight across, don't it? It's starting to get hot out here, so. That ladder is leaning the weight on it won't let it go back. idea where this is gonna go much better <laughs> figures Okay. 
Vorräte. Just so that doesn't fall off of there. Alright. <coughs> That's up against the bottom of that old deck. I can take another quarter inch off of it but uh, that gives me a good idea where these other posts are going to get cut at so for today I'm gonna stop and go eat lunch take a break for watching.